Hey, what's up, ladies? Oh, yeah. The heck? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hey, everybody. My name is Lieutenant Dave Tank with the Cedar Hill Fire District. And I'm Engineer Layman. Today we want to talk to you about what is it that we expect you to do or that you should do should you encounter an emergency vehicle come up behind you. Uh, one of the first things we want you to remember is when possible, slow down and move to the right. Uh, when we come up behind you, we're going to an emergency if we got our lights and sirens going. We need to make sure that we can get there in a timely manner. But as a side effect, we don't want you guys putting yourselves in harm or putting us in harm having to do something dangerous. So when you have the opportunity, whether it's a driveway or another road, and you can pull over to the side or pull off, it's great to do that. Another thing to be cognizant of is watch out for stopping in the middle of the road or pulling over with no shoulders on a blind corner or in the middle of the road on a, a hillside. Those can be dangerous areas for us trying to overtake you and, and driving in oncoming traffic. It's something we try not to do, and we'd prefer if you could find somewhere safe to pull over. Also, we want you to pay attention to your surroundings and make sure there's no distractions. So don't play on your phone while you're driving or text and drive or even talk and drive. We want you guys to be hands-free and pay attention. If you see lights behind you, you need to have no distractions, and we need you guys to pull over as soon as you can. So another area that we encounter a lot of uh, confusion with the, the public in general is at intersections. If we come to an intersection at a red light and there's a vehicle in front of us, make sure that before you do anything, the intersection's clear. Most times it's, it's more effective if you simply pull and block the traffic on your right-hand side. We try to stay in the left-hand lane to give you guys the opportunity to move to the right. Obviously out here in Cedar Hill, we deal with a lot of two lane roads. And sometimes that's a little more difficult, but try to, to move to the right when it's safe. And should you have to continue through an intersection, make sure that the intersection is clear and all drivers are stopped in all directions before yielding that right of way to us. Now, we've kind of talked about what to do when approached from behind with an emergency vehicle. But another situation that we come in contact with is people unsure how to proceed through an emergency scene. Typically, we'll encounter this with a vehicle accident on the roadway. And unfortunately, a lot of times we have to shut that roadway down. When it's safe and at our earliest opportunity, we try to open that roadway back up, at least for one-way traffic. Whenever we do that, we'll set up traffic control and allow the road to be shared by both directions of traffic. A couple of points we'd like to point out is number one, please, please, please slow down. It's a dangerous job that we have and we're in the middle of the road. We understand everybody's in a hurry, but please slow down and give us some room to work. The second thing is pay attention to the traffic in front of you. Yes, it's kind of distracting to have a bunch of lights and a bunch of fire trucks and and operations going on that you're not used to seeing. But please pay attention to what's going on in front of you because if we have another accident, then that's just gonna block the road up again and set us back even further. The next thing is be patient with us. We have a job to do. We don't like blocking the roadway and we don't like slowing you down from where you're trying to go. But we do have a job to do and somebody is in need. Give us an opportunity to take that time and perform our duties and perform them correctly. The last thing that I ask of you is please, as you're coming through the scene, try to refrain from taking pictures or videos. Sometimes we deal with injuries or we deal with fatalities, and we have a certain procedure where we need to go through and notify families of injuries, or unfortunately, sometimes it's even deaths. It's much better for those families to find out through the proper channels, through us, or through the Sheriff's Department, or through one of our liaisons, to, to make those notifications in a proper and respectful way 
than it is for them to be surfing Facebook or the internet and find a picture of their loved one in a uh, unfavorable condition. So please refrain from taking pictures, refrain from taking photographs. If you guys want to take pictures, if you guys want to take videos, please come down to our firehouse anytime. We'd love to have you guys. Anyways, thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us again. We'll catch you guys on the next video.